Hi, my name is Dr. Kim Hellmans, and I'm faculty here at Carleton University in the Department of Neuroscience. And next Wednesday, March 14th, at the Wild Oak Cafe, between 6.30 and 7.30, I'll be giving a talk on This Is Your Brain on Drugs. And what I'll be talking about in that one hour period is I'll be discussing a little bit about how drugs get into our brain, the process by which drug administration actually influences whether how much a drug is really addictive, so why crack cocaine is more addictive than snorting cocaine, for example. Once the drug gets into the brain, I'll talk about how different drugs act on very unique brain systems, and that's what lends them their unique drug profile. So why somebody who's taken heroin uh, feels very different than somebody who's taken alcohol or marijuana, for example. Regardless of the fact that heroin, alcohol, marijuana act on very unique brain systems, what they all do in common is they activate a part of the brain that's involved in meeting the process of pleasure, and that's that reward pathway. The process of addiction changes the way that the brain is wired. Definitely over time what you see is changes in the ability to control uh, your behavior based on the fact that drug cues in your environment, things that remind you of drugs, uh, you're less able to uh, dampen those cues and you're more likely to be impulsive. So I hope you'll come out next uh, Wednesday. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a lively discussion and I look forward to talking to you all.